Hello everyone, today we will solve some more numerical problems based on Lagrangian equations. The first problem is a particle of mass small m moves inside a bowl. If the surface of the bowl is given by the equation z is equal to a by 2 x square plus y square, where a is a constant, find Lagrangian and equation of motion of the system. Here as z is equal to a by 2 x square plus y square and a is a constant so we are confused that which system we have to adopt it because in Cartesian coordinates x y z we can correlate these Cartesian coordinates with the spherical coordinates as well as with the cylindrical coordinates so first we will consider the spherical coordinate system in a spherical coordinate system through my earlier video you know that there is a relation between the Cartesian coordinates and the spherical coordinates and that is like x is equal to r sin theta cos phi y is equal to r sin theta sin phi and z is equal to r cos theta here x y z are the Cartesian coordinates of the particle m which is placed at point p and r theta phi are the spherical coordinates of the particle m here theta is the angle made by op with the z axis and phi is the angle made by on with the x axis in x y plane so as z is equal to r cos theta when we find the potential energy of the particle m then it comes out to be mgz and it is equal to mgr cos theta but here z is equal to a by 2 x square plus y square it is given when we put the value of x and y then our z comes out to be 1 by 2 a r square sin square theta so when we find the potential energy then it comes out to be mg into 1 by 2 a r square sin square theta so it is not matched so here we cannot consider the spherical coordinate system for this problem so we will consider now the cylindrical coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system you know that there is a relation between the Cartesian coordinates and cylindrical coordinates and that is like x is equal to r cos phi y is equal to r sin phi and z is equal to z here xyz are the Cartesian coordinates of the particle m which is placed at point P and r phi z are the cylindrical coordinates of the particle which is placed at point P here O n is equal to r and it is making an angle of phi with the x axis and it is rotated about the z axis so when we find the potential energy of the particle which is placed at point P then it comes out to be mgz and as you know that z is equal to a by 2 x square plus y square so when we put x and y here then we then we find that z is equal to 1 by 2 a r square so here both the results matched so we will consider for this problem the cylindrical coordinate system and you know that in cylindrical coordinate system the kinetic energy is uh, given as 1 by 2 m r dot square plus r square phi dot square plus z dot square i have already proved it in my earlier video so you can write uh, direct this value but here z is equal to as 1 by 2 a r square so you can find z dot uh, it will be a r r dot so when you put the value of z dot uh, in this equation then your kinetic energy comes out to be in r and phi coordinates so it, it is equal to 1 by 2 m r dot square plus r square phi dot square plus a square r square r dot square now potential energy it comes out to be 1 by 2 mg a r square as you know that Lagrangian is defined as 
t minus v so we will put the value of t and v then our Lagrangian comes out to be 1 by 2 m r dot square in bracket 1 plus a square r square plus r square phi dot square minus g a r square here r and phi are the generalized coordinates so we will find del l over del r dot del l over del r del l over del phi dot del l over del phi because r and phi are the generalized coordinates so you know that your Lagrangian equations will be of the form d over dt del l over del r dot minus del l over del r equal to 0 and d over dt del l over del phi dot minus del l over del phi is equal to 0. Now you will put the value of del l over del r dot del l over del r del l over del phi dot del l over del phi in these equations and you can find the Lagrangian equations. The next problem is that a cylinder of radius small a and mass m rolls down a on an inclined plane making an angle of theta with the horizontal. Set up the Lagrangian and find equation of the motion. Here we have uh, considered the cross-sectional view of the cylinder and it is in the form of a disc when it is uh, at the point o of the inclined plane a o b you know that here phi is 0 and x is also 0 at this point o as it moves in the downward direction you know that it travels some distance along the o a line and it is also rotated about its center of mass so there will be uh, let us say at point c some angle phi which is a rotational angle now we can find a correlation between x and phi and that will be equal to x is equal to a phi because when the disk was at point O, you know that your phi is 0, your x is 0, but as it moves in the downward direction, the disk is rotated about its center of mass, so it will travel at arc length, uh, suppose, uh, say from C to uh, C dash. Now if you find this arc length C, C dash, this will be equivalent to x distance, and you know that arc is equal to angle into radius so it your x will be equal to here a into phi now you can find x dot and it will be equal to a into phi dot and you can write phi dot is equal to omega it is angular velocity because uh, the cross sectional view of the cylinder is of the form of disc so its movement of inertia about its uh, center of mass will be 1 by 2 m a square now we will find the kinetic energy of this system here you can see that there will be two motion one will be the translation motion and other will be the rotation motion translation motion because the cylinder is uh, rolling along the inclined plane o a and it is traveling some distance and the second is a rotational energy it is because of it is rotating about it center of mass also so it will have a rotational energy also and that will be equal to 1 by 2 i omega square now if we put the value of i and omega here then the kinetic energy comes out to be 3 by 4 m x dot square let us say it is equation number 2 now we will consider the potential energy of the system for potential energy uh, we will consider because uh, the center of mass will lie at point P so we will take a, a height from the center of mass to find the potential energy now it will be equal to mg in bracket s minus x sin theta plus mg a cos theta as you see that cd can be found directly uh, it will be from the triangle ACD CD will be equal to S minus X sine theta 
so potential energy for CD height will be mg s minus x sin theta plus now uh, from the center of mass if we have to find the potential energy then we have to consider this height also right uh, now you know that this angle is uh, nine this angle is 90 minus theta as it is 90 degree it is theta so it will be 90 minus theta also uh, this is the radius of the disk and it is making a tangent to the radius so this angle will be 90 degree right and because uh, when you move cd in the upward direction it becomes a straight line so this angle is 90 minus theta this is 90 so it will be a theta you know right so the component of uh, pc uh, along the line which is moving in the upward direction along the cd it will be a cos theta so if uh, m is the this center of mass of the disk then uh, this height will give you potential energy mg a cos theta because this height uh, spawns c to this point it will be a cos theta the potential energy will be mg a cos theta due to this side let us say it is equation number 3 now the lagrangian of the system is t minus v we know the value of t and we know the value of v so we will put these values in this equation and then our lagrangian comes out to be 3 by 4 mx dot square minus mg s minus x sin theta minus mg a cos theta. Here x is the generalized coordinate because it is varying. So our Lagrangian equation of motion will be d over dt del l over del x dot minus del l over del x is equal to 0. Now we will put the value of del l over del x dot and del l over del x which we can find from this equation. So our final solution comes out to be of the form x dot double dot is equal to 2 by 3 g sin theta. So the disk will have the acceleration that will be equal to 2 by 3 g sin theta. Thank you.